Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd It's imperative as a community that we begin to speak about the ills and the evil that has plagued our community and this evil and this plague and this sickness comes from the ide- ideology of the takfiri tedmiri people those people of destruction those people who believe in causing harm to the muslim community and the non-muslim community and causing a harm based upon ignorance in in this terrorist ideology it has to cease and one of the ways that we can address this is by beginning to speak more openly not for the pleasure of anyone except for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because this filth this filthy ideology it only comes back to haunt us as a community it haunts us in the muslim lands and outside of the muslim lands so we have to begin to speak out against this and when we speak out against this this type of thought this ideology we're following kitab Allah wa sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said man ra'a minkum munkaran falyughayruhu bi yad so the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever amongst you sees an evil then change it with his hands fa in lam yastati' fa bi lisanihi and if he is unable then with his tongue fa in lam yastati' fa bi qalbihi wa dhalika adu fi iman and if he is not able to speak out against it then at least hate that evil in your heart and this is how we feel about this takfiri min- mentality this takfiri uh, min- uh, minhaj this methodology what goes against kitabillah and goes against the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said iyakum wa ghulu he said and beware or be careful of extremism this is from the statement of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that these people who tarnish the name of islam and believe that they are doing these acts these extremist acts and extremist plots and plans in the name of islam they need to learn islam and every time we urge these people we always invite the people to good seek the knowledge asal allah lil khas wa thabat seek sincerity to allah and seek authentic knowledge of the quran and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this only comes from studying the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said talab al ilm faridatu ala kulli muslim he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam that seeking the knowledge is an obligation upon every muslim every muslim must seek knowledge you must seek knowledge of what is lawful and what is unlawful when you are able to when you seek knowledge you're able to distinguish between falsehood and the truth you're able to distinguish these ideologies and distinguish what is the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what is the methodology of the salaf as-salih what did they call to did they call to this extremism did they call to takfir no they didn't did they call to uh, a destruction and blowing up things no they didn't call to these evil ideologies because this is in accordance with the methodology of the khawarij the khawarij sect a violent sect which is a sect that appeared initially during the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but they actually became as a sect after the lifetime of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they were responsible for killing sahaba for killing ali radiyallahu ta'ala radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and uthman radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in so the takfiris uh, the khawarij the original takfiris who used to decree other muslims blood as lawful for the major sins has been with us throughout time they've been out they've been with us since the almost through the advent of islam that these people had a misunder uh, a, a, a distorted ideology and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about these people he said al khawarij kilab an nar he said that the khawarij they are the dogs of the hellfire al khawarij kilab an nar that the khawarij they are the dogs of the hellfire so which methodology do you want to follow do you want to follow the way of the people who 
who uh, who believe in in taking innocent lives and who are like the dogs of the hellfire, or do you want to follow the people who are the people of Ahl Jannah, which is the path of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in? This is the choice that we have before us as a community. This is the choice that we have to make. That we have to begin speaking about this extremism and and and, and refuting it. And every time it rears its ugly head, we have to cut it off. How do we cut it off? We cut it off with the sword of truth. We cut it off with knowledge. This is how we deal with it. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Men yaradullahu bihi khayran yafqahu fi din." Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. And I ask Allah the Almighty to give us an understanding of the religion, good understanding. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.